Wednesday and Tuesday. Now in the tropics, we continue to watch a couple of areas deep in the Atlantic main development region. Two features picking up here. This one now models grabbing on to, although Hurricane Center not really highlighting it. Uh, we'll keep an eye on these long term. They may develop some into early next week as they move off to the west. But this is the one we'll be watching into next week. That's in the Caribbean. Not much to it. Barely has any storms with it. It's fighting dry air. And while wind shear is not very high today and tomorrow, it is going to have a lot of dry air. So it's not really going to do anything through this weekend, it looks like, and may not do anything even through Monday. But by Tuesday and Wednesday, notice may have a better environment over here in the western Caribbean as it travels west through the Caribbean there. It will gradually start to move into a more favorable environment and that dry air will begin to mix on out. Still not a slam dunk forecast by any means. It is something we'll want to keep an eye on long term. There is still some guidance, not a lot of guidance, but some guidance that tries to spin something up in the northwestern Caribbean into the middle and end of next week going into Labor Day weekend, potentially getting into the southern Gulf, but that's about all we know at this point. That's still seven to 10 days from now. There's going to be a lot of unknowns. And once again, it is not a slam dunk forecast, but it is something we'll want to watch. Anytime you have a disturbance in the northwestern Gulf, you got to keep an eye on it, especially if you live in the Gulf of Mexico region. But 